Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to the Comic Lounge. We're going to do a video here on uh, some Fantastic Fours and add them in my own collection. Just kind of do some uh, kind of interesting uh, ones we got behind me here. Um, some are Adam's, some are mine. Uh, why don't we start off with uh, yours, Adam, and uh, you can maybe like show us some of your issues and then I'll show you some of mine. All right, sounds good. Let's do this. Flip it up, dub dub. Flip it up, dub. <laughs> All right. Star Wars. All right. So this is just some stuff from our collection. This is my. This is the f oldest book out of our two collections. Yeah, I don't have any of that early. Well, number twenty-eight. That one's mine. It is like a one. <laughs> Super soiled. But it's what we call a reader. One that you can read. A placeholder? Yeah. So you can read So you get a better one. You know. It's got the X-Men in it. Yeah, it's awesome. Cross crossover right there. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's a really cool one with Mole Man. Yeah, and this is my next one here. We got 31. Yeah, 31. that's a really cool cover of the Mole Man. Yeah, I just He's got a very this early one. villain. Yeah. He's in number one. It's a reader. Let's see if I can get in close here. You can see the, the spines got some stuff going on and stuff. Still really cool. Good to have. I'm really happy to have that. Yep, yep. On to the next one here. Let's see. I got a number 37 here. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Ever seen that one? This one has a big old rip right in the middle of it. Awesome Kirby. Still a really old one. There's a thing way in the background. So cool. I haven't read this far into the series. I'm on like 27 or yeah, something. Yeah, I'm not this far either. We got number 48. Awesome book. Yeah. This fantastic book. Look at this thing. Oh my god. That's the second surfer. It's the first full Galactus, though. Second Surfer, First Galactus. First Full Galactus. I think he has a little cameo yeah. at the end of 48. Full. Yeah, he's full. Full on Galactus. Yeah. These are some nice, 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 nice books. And there's a third part of the story. It's like the best ones out of them besides like number one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> number one's really entertaining read. Black Panther's pretty popular right now too. His first appearance, 52. Don't have a 52 yet, but I got a 51. Stan's favorite comic book. Some say this is Stan Lee's favorite book because this is the one he wrote. He might have wrote that one. It's a cool cover. Which means that Jack drew that cover. And then finally in that run, we got this one here. This awesome, like, the thing and the... Surfer and the kind of having a little showdown, and the thing's like, Oh, that hurt, bub. Mm. You gotta be clobbering time, mm. right? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move on over here to Chris's book, number 57. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah. it's got Dr. Doom and the Surfer on the cover. It's awesome, Dr. Doom cover. so cool. Kirby has all kinds of intricate reasons for why he's done each thing and he comes up with them so fast but backstories and stuff, you'll hear him talk about it sometimes in interviews from the 80s or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, I've seen some interviews too where he talks about like why Dr. Doom's face is like wearing a mask and he's all like because he's beautiful and he's got one little tiny little mark on his face and it drives him crazy. You really get the emotion like, you know, in just the cover. Mm -hmm. This stinks. And the whole book looks like the cover. Mm -hmm. And the whole book looks like the cover because it was designed by, you know, the same guy. We got this one here, number 60. is this awesome book. And yeah, I was gifted that one by the Durley. Oh, Durley gifted you this book? Yeah. Wow. He found some comic books and he gave it to me. It's so cool. They're like straight up just wrestling and shit. Really cool. It's not the best copy, but it was cool that he gave it to me. <laughs> it's the best copy because he gave it to you. Mm -hmm. And then you, let's see, you got number 61, too. 
That's a pretty cool cover. Yeah, that was in pretty nice shape, too. And Kirby and the Sandman, kind of a neat thing. Mm. And then back over to my stuff, I got number 62. This is that first appearance, or the second appearance of that character. It looks like a uh, dude who fights Orion, Calabac. Yeah, he looks like Calabac. Calabac prototype there. <laughs> shoots fire from his fingertips. It's awesome. That's a pretty cool cover. Yep. That's one you can typically get pretty cheap. We got this one here, the Sentry. Number 64. Just awesome. Bunch of stuff going on in the background. They're all coming at him and he's all stoic. So here the we first have, Ronin. Yeah, it's the first Ronin. I got this one out of like a five dollar bin. But I remember. It's really torn up. In, in Milwaukee. Yeah. Ooh, first him. Well, that's the first full him. Mm -hmm. I need to get 66, which is the first him. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I got the first him. I got that cocoon cover. It's not in the best shape. There's some it's foxing and tanning. Book. Yeah. But it's not bad. Another cool cover. Yep, we got this thing trying to come out of the... Wrapped up steel girders Something or something. In succession. 69. By Ben Betrayed. Isn't that crazy? He's like grabbing part of the building. We got number 71. A whole bunch of stuff going on. It's like sizzling action. I don't think I've seen that one a lot either. Mm. Then we jump from 71 over here to number 72. That's awesome surfer cover. Did someone ruin the pen? Yeah, someone, someone, he like, the, right there, there's some pen over a word. That and this planet. Oh, they did the planet too. They uh, darkened it in the line. You can see the line under it if you look at it. <sighs> too bad. Well, a lot of still, Kirby crackle. Still awesome. Yeah, that's got some crackle. Mm -hmm. Really crackle. The, the Guardian himself is in crackle. He's cracklicious. <laughs> well, we got number 74 that's here. That's another surfer one I need. Yeah. You got a few of those. There he is. That one's in atrocious condition. That's a detached cover. That's a placeholder, though. It's pretty cool, though. Cool cover. Well, they all are. A lot of crackle in there, too. If you want to enjoy some comic books, if you're like, oh, comic books are so cool, it's like you read some and they're not that good, you can come try these. Mm -hmm. The Kirby stuff is so entertaining. Look at that. Look at the emotion on, on this cover. It's like, it's going down. This is a really cool cover, too. Mm. We got this uh, number 77 here. This is another one I need. Pretty neato. For my surfer books. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is? Another surfer, yeah. Yeah. There he is, right there. You got quite a few of the ones I don't have. These are the cheaper ones to get. This is a, I know, yeah. I gotta fill them out. I got some of the hard 78. ones. 78. 78 right there. Not just, you know, it's just endless Kirby. Kirby Crackle. He did the first 102. He was crackling that day. That's where they came with up with what's crackling. That looks like it's in pretty good condition. That one. Yeah, that one. That one showed up pretty good shape. Yeah. So happy. The color is real nice. It looks like it's almost new. Mm-hmm. Just showing off our awesome Fantastic Four books. And we both got one of those. This I think I have my, two of them. This is my number eighty right here. Yeah. yeah. That's what that looks like, and this is what Chris's looks like. This is what his. Look at that. Oh. Jeez, look at that. Oh, it looks so awful. <laughs> no, he's got it. He's got this one. Pretty cool. It is a really great book. They're like riding into some shit. This one looks a little better. Yep, and he's got this one. So he's got a couple of these. And this one does look much, much better. It's like a six. Ooh. No. <laughs> Pretty nice. And 
we go on to number 81. We have quite a bit of run between the two of us, it looks like. Yeah. Let's go through that. He's throwing a huge right hook. Yeah, uh, Ben's girlfriend. The blind one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Ben's girlfriend's blind. Yep. Well, that's a classic cover. Hey, there's some awesome... Uh... No, no. Not considered a key, but one of those classic covers. You did have the first Black Bolt, right? I did have that, and I sold it, yeah. Sold the first Black Bolt. It was so very sun-faded. We did, at one point, there was that one. I think this is the second or third or something. Oh, he's, this is way later. Oh, it was way later. Like, the black, first Black Bolt was before the so 48. It's got awful, like, wad moisture look there. What can you do? Look at that corner. Jiminy. But I'm happy to have that. We got this guy here, this awesome giant character, and he's just screwing everything up. But yeah, it's, I don't really know the story. I haven't gotten that far yet. Number 83. Pretty cool book. Number 84. It's, yeah, it's like quite a run. Mm hmm. You know, between the two of us there. We're missing a lot too, but we have a fair amount between the two of us. Like, I could really tidy up my Silver Surfer run with some of the books you have. Like, I'd be close to being complete, complete. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's 84. We got 85. That's nice. Look at that. Yeah, it's very, uh, so much like Shada. So crazy looking. Pretty damn cool. Or right, Douglas Adams got some ideas for Shada from that. It's awesome. Reed's all pissed off. Look how pissed Reed is. Holy shit. Someone's messing, messing with his woman. Yeah, probably. Probably. Probably name, her. Her. Probably name her. Weird creature that looks like, you know, batteries not included with a bunch of tentacles. And I call those tentacles. 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 Pretty badass, though. Kirby's obviously having a lot of fun with it. You know? Imagine being there while he's drawing it or something. Be yeah, crazy. Some, some people say just how quick he would do it, too. Over in Chris's collection, we got the Madness of the Moon Man. Another awesome right hook by Reed. Looks like he's missing. Moon Man's doing a little bit of Jackie Chan. Hmm. For some reason, the thing looks worried, which is really strange. Maybe he's depressed. Maybe he goes a little Tony Soprano or something. It takes this to wake him up. Or maybe the Moon It's his Moan milk getting Man. shot. It's just totally crazy. What is it? It's his milk getting shot. <laughs> His milk is getting shot. Remember, I got a jug of milk and like it just explodes like in Tony's hands. Yeah, I got one of those too. <clears throat> Pretty cool book. Yeah, that scene where they're shooting at him. Yeah. He's in the car and he's all depressed. He grabs the guy by the arm and starts driving. And he's all smiling and laughing. Yeah, he comes right back. This one's kind of strange. I wonder what it's about. It's got a the invisible scroll. Ben's all drunk. That's got to be Reed, right? Why is Reed in a disguise? I don't think he's in a disguise. No, he's just a snappy dresser. That's possible. And then it's like, yeah, in the next episode here, like... The thing is struggling. They got some shit on him. Look at the, oh, this weird jet blimp thing in the back yeah, now. They're trying to treat him like King Kong or something. Good luck with that. I got Deuce <laughs> here. Pretty cool. They're in good shape, too. Got number 92. Chris, you're all done. You just got that one. Yeah. Yeah, Ben Grimm, killer. We're going to get to that eventually. Yeah, could you imagine? It's probably because, uh, you know, they pushed him a little too far. And, uh, you know, old blue eyes had to show him what's up. Then we got that, that weird purple, purple helmeted guy. Yeah, it was very new gods-ish. Like, almost like he was getting ready to go that Fright way. The Frightful Four. That's right. Mm hmm It goes back to like the 30s, the first Frightful Four. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I have that one. I think that's that number 37. That's a cool one. Yeah, he's, he's definitely doing it. He's like saving Sue, wrapping her up or something. Mm hmm <laughs> Jesus. Maybe that's what he's doing. The perspectives here are crazy looking. Like, wow. <clears throat> they're, they're falling, man. 
They're they're falling. The city's in the background there. It's they're, all over the place. There's like shit's exploding in the city. What a fucking like, cool looking book. This one's got this weird 19 center thing pasted on top of my thing. But hey, I got it for cheaper because of that. Mm, so. Black bolts there. Yeah, doing the same thing he does. He flies around and doesn't say much. Yeah. And when he does, it's like, whew, Jesus. See him disintegrate the Hulk? And play oh, the yeah. Hulk? Yeah, like he can crack the earth in half or whatever. He disintegrates the Hulk, mm -hmm. but the Hulk doesn't stop. He yeah. still gets him. I mean, literally, they can like, crack the earth in half. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could probably just destroy the earth with vibration. Yeah. Got this number 100 here. This is still Curbs. Curbs did it. 101, that's him still. That's him. You can always tell by the face. You can tell by the faces. And the and hands. The, and the hands, yeah. The, the big hands. With the big, big the little flying hands. hands, Dana says. They look like they're flying. Like name were there. Like his flying hand right there. 102, this is the last, like, full-on Jack Kirby book. The cover almost doesn't even look like Kirby. Mm. He probably didn't even want to do it at that point. I guess he was fed up. I don't really know. Maybe it was know. Joe Simon or Joe Sinet more. Well, I, th I think that was him, but this is not him. Well, I mean, Joe Sinet worked on him with This Kirby. is no longer no, Curbs. <clears throat> now, but Kirby did have... Um, another issue, 106. He was part of 106, but I think it was reprints. It could be. I this know one, one of them we looked up was. Now these annuals, though. These annuals are his. Like, this one's pretty badass. That one's got the surfer, too. Yep. This one has a surfer, and it's the first appearance of this villain guy, and uh, it makes it very expensive. And this one is like, this one used to be Dave's. <laughs> this thing's torn up. Man. Dave. Dave's not here, man. Dave's not here. No. So then we got... Oh, you got king one size too. number eight. And Chris also has a king size number eight. I paid a big dollar for it. Yep, yep. I paid very little for mine. I think I paid two bucks for it. But it's all Kirby. Oh, and I got this for Christmas from a buddy. This is not Kirby, but man, what a cool cover. Yeah, the True Believer number one. Or that was, a, was that a dollar? Yeah, it was one of those dollar ones. Mm -hmm. It's cool if they're a dollar. Oh, well, folks, that concludes this episode of the Comic Lounge. Thanks for coming out. Have a nice evening. Enjoy your ride home safe. See you guys again soon. And Star Wars.